Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong using Hong Kong old style scoring. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. And then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some different strategies, maybe gain some insight into the game that will give you an advantage at the table. Let's go ahead and start these random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with east. I'm going to roll the dice to see which seat we're in. We're in seat four. That'll just keep the variables fresh. So we are north. North seat, east round. We get 13 random tiles. There they are. No flowers. Can't bank on that for long though. The minute you draw a flower, that fawn is gone. Speaking of fawn, we're going to say that we are going to have a two fawn minimum. Two fawn minimum. And I think I would probably try for all chows here as quickly as possible. We've got two pair. If we paired up, we could do all pung, which would be three fawn. But it's the no flower fawn that we're going to count on if we go for a chow hand. That's going to be a race against the clock. Or really, it's a, way, a race against the wall because if you draw a flower that is not your own seat flower, that fawn goes away. So I would hold these pairs for as long as possible. Let's get rid of the red dragon. Here's a potential chow, potential chow, or a potential chow there. We could probably get rid of the three. Potential chow, there's a pair, and here's a potential chow. So really these two could probably go away and we could just chow as quickly as possible. Actually, yeah. There's some flexibility in here. So that's what I would try for this particular random pull. If you would do something different, let me know. I think banking on that no flower fawn is really risky. But because we're in mixed suits, I think that's the best we can do here. Or try for all pung if we paired up that red dragon. Because we have these two here. We would need another pair in there though to make it work. All right, so east round, we're on south round now, and we are going to be seat four. That is north again, north. As a non dealer, we get 13 tiles. No flowers, two honors. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I think this is a very similar situation as the other random pull. We have no flowers, two honors, mixed suits. We have a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, pair, potential chow, discards. I think I would try for all chows, no flowers. That's really risky again, but because we have all these potential chows and only one pair mixed suits, I think that's the only way to go with this particular random pull. I think I would hold the, all the dots I can and start whittling down these cracks and maybe shoot for a half flush if I get lucky and draw in dots. Now if we paired up that south, since it's the wind of the round, maybe that would be the next discard. Let's throw that north first. If we paired up either 
the south or maybe drew in dots sacrifice these definitely closer to all chows though you'd have to really keep an eye on the flower situation though they can get you I think those flowers maybe should be called poison ivy or poison oak because if they're not the right one you can get poisoned okay we're gonna do west round we're gonna say we're seat eight which is north again north so we get 13 tiles we are in seat north seat north we have two flowers poison ivy those are not ours let's get replacements okay nothing good we have a pair of Norths, Seat Wind, that's a fawn right there. Let's see if we have a major suit here to work with. I think we've got a mixture. Actually, we do have quite a few dots and a pair. I think we should try for half flush. It's gonna be a long shot though, because we have six discards. If we cleared to all dots and honors, and pung this north we could do a half flush pung here pung here chow here definitely a lot of drawing to do but leveraging the north i think that would be a good way to get some additional fawn if we were to hold chow tiles just in case we went for chows Let's say we maybe drew our own flower seat. Uh, we're in seat four. If we got a four flower, we could do seat wind, four flower, and then just chow. That would be another way to go. I would throw these away first. Let's see how the drawing goes. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. North round. We are in seat six. Seat six is south. Okay. Non dealer, thirteen tiles. No flowers, one honor, that's it. We do have a pair of sixes. There is lots of chow potential here. And we do have a significant number of dots, but look at all these cracks too. Okay, so let's check out the chow potential here. We throw away the green. We have a potential chow there. There's a chow right there or two potential chows here, here. This is isolated potential chow, potential chow. So these would be the discards if we go for all chow. Just all chow as quickly as possible. That would be one fawn. No flowers would be another fawn. I think I would try for that. I think I would go ahead and discard these first, hold on to the green, and that way if I drew in dots and the green dragon maybe, switch to half flesh. But that would mean six discards, that's pretty bad. Three discards is not bad, that's actually pretty good. But banking on that no flower fawn, that's very risky. Let me know what you think about random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you have your set at home, get it out and give it a try yourself. Let me know how it goes for you. 
If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe, then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some strategies, maybe pick up on some insights into the game that might give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong using Hong Kong old style scoring. May all your picks be keepers.